government of Isiolo has started really food distribution exercise targeting over 10,000 households affected by El Nino rain. Speaking at the Isiolo police grounds, when he flagged off trucks ferrying the commodities to various affected regions, the county governor Abdi Ibrahim Guyo said that devolved government will solely rely on the data provided by the Kenya Red Cross who have conducted an assessment in order to effectively reach out to those identified as the most affected. And as Aluda Gal reports, floods have also killed nine people in Mombasa, leading to displacement of over a thousand cost residents. At least 3,000 households affected by raging floods in Isolo County and a further 10,000 households that have been affected by heavy floods as a result of the heavy downpour being witnessed in various regions in the country are said to receive relief food and non food items courtesy of county governments in conjunction with the national governments. We will also provide uh, medicines uh, tents to those who are displaced, drugs and uh, kitchen sets to those people who are totally displaced from their home areas. Governor Guyo in Isiolo County says that some parts of the county such as Basa, Iresaburu and Kompola have been completely cut off and cannot be accessed by road, adding that his administration will work closely with the national government to have the relief food and non-food supplies airlifted by the Kenya Defense Forces to those areas. The affected people feel pain. We also feel their pain. We are asking them to, to be patient with us. We'll make sure that every household which are affected are taken care of. Also, the national government have, has provided 300 consignment of uh, bag of rice, uh, corned beef, and uh, cooking oil. Am I right? But as a county, we are going to provide transport for national government consignment to reach the displaced uh, individuals. In Kwale County, at least three people have been confirmed dead and two KRA officers swept by raging floods as floods continue to wreak havoc in the coastal region na tumeona kwa sababu kuna kuna watu wetu walio walio tuacha kijana alikuwa na pikipiki na wale maaskari pia nao waliingia na, na gari yao hatuja bwai kuwaona tunaomba serikali watujengee daraja kubwa hapa ramisi kwa sababu hii ni kitu ambayo inatuangamizia watoto wetu leo hii tumeamkea kutafuta hiyo gari na hiyo hawa watu ambao wali, walikuwa kwa hiyo gari na tumeweza kupata gari ambayo uh, ilikuwa aina ya line cruiser tumeweza kuitoa kwa maji lakini bado hawa maafisa wawili hatujaweza kuwapata Aluda Gail for Look Up TV Nairobi